Okay, so to start creating your wall decor or wall art, what you want to do is look for the common sizes, which I wrote right here. So there's a 24 by 36, which is the largest, 16 by 20, 11 by 14, and an 8 by 10. Those are the most common sizes that people use for wall art. And as you see, if we scroll a little bit down, this is an example one that I have that is a 16 by 20. So what you can do here is basically go to file and what you want to do is hit create new design and then you want to hit custom size and this is where you're going to put the custom size whether you want to do the 8 by 10, 11 by 4, you just put in those dimensions right here. So let's start with the blank one so I can show you exactly how I created this minimalist one and how you can create one too. So let's go ahead and add page. And then what we're going to do is just go to text. Now you can use one of these texts that are available for you, or you can just create your own. So we're going to do add a heading. And then I am just going to go ahead and paste this popular quote by John Lennon. Then here, you're going to change the size of the quote. So let's go ahead and make that maybe a uh, 120 put it up here, and then I want to go ahead and kind of um, change this around a little bit. So let's go ahead and maybe do this. We won't do that. Um, let's go ahead, maybe make it a little bigger. And here you can change it if you want to put it, maybe align it to the left, align it to the middle, align it to the right, whichever way you want. So we're going to go ahead and just align this to the left and just adjust it accordingly how you like. I don't like it to take up, for example, um, the whole entire page. So I try to center it like as much in the middle. So then what I like to do is go to elements and I like to add like some minimalist elements to this. So here, let's go ahead and maybe click this, change the color of that so it shows. And then here you can just pretty much add this on top and decorate it um, however you like. So try to align it as much to the center. And then you have basically this simple little element that can go on top. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate this. And then move this here try to center it as much as possible and there you go that's a simple wall art that you can do now when it comes to printing i want to show you a little trick because you want to print this out in the highest resolution possible so that it looks the best so what you're going to do is go and download it um and you're going to download basically as a png and then in the next step i'm going to show you exactly how we're going to make this the best resolution possible. Okay, so when it comes to making it the best resolution possible, what you wanna do is go to basically an image converter and convert it into 300 DPI. And this also goes for if you plan to sell these on Etsy, you definitely wanna make sure that your customer is getting a high quality wall art image. So, the a free tool to you is to use is convert.town and then what you can do is just go into your files let's go ahead and grab that quote that we have and then we're just basically going to change the dpi of the image and then what it does is kind of automatically downloads it for you and you see here to the right that it's the 16 by 20 quote image that we just did now with a 300 dpi and so before you print out your personal wall art or wall decor or if you plan to sell these on etsy you want to just go in and change the dpi of the image so that it does come out in the highest quality possible